And welcome back to the Connect for Windows SDK Quick Start Tutorials. Uh, this is Camera Fundamentals. And in Camera Fundamentals, what we're going to do is show you can use the RGB and video camera. So uh, in our last example, we set up our dev environment. Um, we created the runtime ob object, um, and we initialized, uninitialized it, saying that we wanted to use the color and the, the depth sensor data. What we're going to do is show you how you can display that in a WPF application. Now, a couple of just uh, simple things to know about uh, camera, because both the RGB and um, depth work the same way. What we're going to do is we initialize, like we had done in the setting up your development environment. The next step we do is register for a, a, a video frame ready or depth frame ready event. And that, that will fire, that event will fire when we have a new image. And then the last thing to do is to start receiving those images, we have to call imagestream.open. And then we pass in the parameters of say, hey, we are, um, we're looking for a video stream of this size or, or a depth stream of this size. So initialize, sign up, register for the event, and then open to start that event firing. And that event will fire about 30 frames per second. So with that, one of the things that we're going to be doing is understanding what happens when that, that frame fires. So there's an image frame ready event args that we receive for whether it's the video frame or depth frame. And that image frame ready event args has a, has a image frame class inside of it. And this is a class designer view of those types. So that image frame class has a frame number, and we can use that to calculate frames per second. It has a resolution. Is it a 320 by 240? Is it a 640 by 480? A timestamp, the type of image, whether it's depth or color, a viewing area, maybe if it's uh, zoomed in. And then pl uh, it has an image uh, struct inside of it. And that's what actually contains the data for the image. So there's a byte array called bits, uh, the width and height, and the bytes per pixel. So what you don't see here, though, is um, types specific to Windows Presentation Foundation or Windows Forms. Uh, because the Connect for Windows SDK doesn't have UI-specific libraries um, to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to receive this data, and then we need to convert the byte array using the data like the bytes per pixel, the height and width, and convert that into an image. Um, and that's going to vary whether we're using a depth image or a color image. And we're going to go through it. Um, but this is just at a high level. When we receive a video frame or depth frame, we're going to receive this image frame. And inside of the, the image frame dot image is the actual data for the image. Um, now, one thing is when we're building these objects, um, you'll need to know about what stride is. So stride is the number of bytes from, from one row of pixels in memory to the next. Think of stride as um, basically the union of both the image width and any padding that you have uh, within your application. We're going to need this because we're going to be, uh, we have an array of bytes, and we need to now represent it as a bitmap source. We need to know if there's any padding um, on that image. So just remember, stride is, is the union of image width and any padding. OK, so let's jump into demos. I'm starting from the same demo we had just done, the setting up your development environment, which is a, has a main window. We have a reference to the Microsoft Research Connect library, a reference to the coding for fun .connect .wpf library. Now what I'm going to do is drag and drop an image on here. And let's just zoom in. And we'll set the width of this image to 320. And we'll set the height, which is double click, 240. OK, so we have a 320 by 240 image on here. Let's make sure we can drag this up. We'll put this over there. I'm going to copy and paste this, because we're going to display the same uh, in the same container. One image is going to have the RGB, the video frame. Uh, another one is going to be the depth frame data and uh, image one, image two. Um, so uh, about the only other thing that we did in here was just increase the width to make sure that was in there. And we set the width to 800. Now in our previous example, we added events for the window loaded uh, and initialized. Let's just look at what we did in the code here. And I'm going to full screen this. So we created a runtime object. And we initialized it to have color and depth information. Um, 
Next, what we want to do is, I mentioned this before, we're going to sign up for the events. So we're going to say ready plus equals, and I'll hit tab, tab, and you'll notice Visual Studio will spit out a video frame ready event for me. And now we'll do one more for the depth frame, plus equals, tab, tab, and Visual Studio will again create that event for me. I'm just going to add some more space here. So we've initialized it, we've signed up for the events. These events aren't going to fire until we call the open, so I'm going to do that for each stream. NUI.VideoStream.Open and I'm going to say image stream type video, because we're on the video stream. Pool size, you can think of pool size as almost like a back buffer, if you will. It's what the, the NUI runtime is using and what you're going to be used. So use at least a size of two. Um, for that, since we have multiple images, uh, we don't want to be fighting for contention there. Image resolution. Um, for the video stream, we'll just choose 640 by 480. Um, image type is going to be a color image. So let's just uh, break this into two lines so we can all see it together. Video, uh, pool size of two, 640 by 480, and a color image. Let's do one more. And this time the depth frame, depth stream, sorry, open. This time we're going to be having a depth image. The pool size, uh, we'll keep it at two as well. Image resolution, let's go 320 by 240 here. Um, and I'm just going to add a line break so we can see it all together. And then image type, image type dot. And this time we are the, returning a depth image. OK, we've set this up. Now what's going to happen is these events will fire. And the first one I want to do um, is the video frame ready. So in the video frame ready, what we're going to do is um, we'll create a planar image. Let's call this image equals E dot image frame. And that's that event args that I mentioned. Um, so we see things like frame number, et cetera. Um, and the property we want is an image. So now that we have the image, um, we want to create image one. Let me make sure I have that right. OK, image one dot source equals. And image one is what we, I think it was the one on the left. On, on the that we dragged and dropped earlier, and we're going to 